there will be no Grexit, neither enforced nor voluntary. The simple reason which, oh, which many people don't understand is that even with the Grexit, Greece still remains in Europe, and therefore um, it will have access to all kinds of zillions of money from the so-called structure fund or cohesion fund or balance of payments aid. So the only thing that will change is the spigots where the money runs through, uh, but not the flow of money, which will go to a, to a country that will collapse unless it gets more money. Merkel knows that, Hollande knows it, and above all, you know who else knows this? Tsipras, who's played a very clever game of chicken, which he has won, where he has told the Europeans, you know what? Come and punish us. You'll punish yourselves even more. Do you really want to collapse the economy? Do you really want chaos in the streets? Do you want another storm on the Bastille? You don't, do you? But I'll be nice to you. I'll give you Varoufakis, the guy who really has shown contempt for you and has riled your souls. I'll give it to you. Yeah, everybody thought that that is what he did, that he threw sort of Varoufakis in as a sop to Europe. But look, the vice chancellor of Germany has said that Tsipras has torn down the last bridge on which Greece and Europe could have moved towards a compromise. Whatever you've just said, what about the Greek, uh, sorry, the German people and the German parliament? Because where is their mood to allow whatever you said ha uh, is likely to happen, a constant bailing out of Greece? Will they allow that? The German people. The, if the German people had, I mean, the, the electorate had the power right here and now, they would probably vote overwhelmingly no the way the Greeks have. But we live in a representative democracy, and the yes and no comes from Mrs. Merkel and her coalition, which commands 80% of the seats in the parliament in the Bundestag. And Merkel, to repeat the basic point, knows she does not want to have a dead body on her hands, not in Europe, not in her Europe. And that's why, and if you add to that something which nobody has really paid attention to yet, the IMF, which in terms of hard, 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 uh, hardlining was on Merkel's side, has just bolted from the coalition. They said, listen, boys and girls, Greece cannot pay. And here's what you're going to have to do. You'll have to give, a, give out about $67 billion in, in new bailout money. You have to restructure the Greek debts from 20 years maturity to 40 years maturity, which means forever. And by the way, you have to <clears throat> add an <clears throat> another 60 mm -hmm. billion in haircuts, haircuts for those who are Greek debt. If the IMF tells you that, that's a, a resounding victory right. for, uh, for Tsipras. 